morning. Hi, puppy. You're laying down in front of the heater. That's a smart boy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, what can I help you? You gonna come up here on the bed? Okay. That's my boy. Do your circles. Oh, you, you comfy? They said it was a chance of snow last night. <laughs> you ready for this? I just opened the window here and looked out and I'm like, I didn't know what I was seeing because everything was white. I thought the window was fogged over. Oh my gosh. Are you ready for this? Get it! <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. They said slight chance of accumulation. <laughs> Boy. Hey. Oh my goodness, it's good packing. I gotta get the ladder. We gotta clean off the solar panels. Yes, we do. We gotta clean off the solar panels. Hey! Hey! I got one. <laughs> oh, come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No shovel. Hold on, I gotta get the ladder, buddy. Whoa! Hey. Where's your leash? If I had a D ring up there, I could. Okay. And, uh. Okay. <laughs> No, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <no. laughs> Holy cannolis. Guess I don't need the weight rocks. Hear it. Okay. Oh, are you having fun? I gotta get the ladder, buddy. See if I can get this. And I suggest if you have ah! <laughs> if you have one of those ladders like mine, keep it indoors. Because it'll keep it in way better condition. And I definitely like extend its lifespan too. Buddy. <laughs> At least it's clumpy, so it's easy to manipulate.
left the other side with it all. Then we'll switch over to there, pull it towards us. Oh. Come on, I can't quite get it all to push off over there. It's, it's uh, pretty overcast. because oh, these three panels are connected together so there's no gap in between them that's why it's slid better uh. can't leave you guys up there I've almost done that before What are you doing? What's down in that snow? Hmm? <laughs> he used to do this back in New York. I'd forgotten about this. Snow hunting. Hey! Oh, I don't want to get all muddy today, buddy. Come on! Because we got to go back inside. Come on! Dad. Come on! You smell better than I do. Come on, puppy. Come on. Come on. This way. Come on. Come on. Get those paws cleaned off. Left. Come on. Come on. Go. I'm going to get the cab of the truck cleaned off. I dumped a lot of snow down there. Hey. Hey. Right here. Stay right there. Hey. <sighs> okay. making that noise that's really cool oh it's that guy yeah that's him that's a cool noise Look at these uh, clouds that come off the mountains over here. And see the peak of that one is hidden in the clouds. Oh my gosh. Picturesque, isn't it? Well, this stinks because they just scraped the roads a couple days ago, three days ago. And then we get a big snowstorm turning it all back mushy and vehicles are going to make ruts. Because this was really choppy from all the logging equipment, but they knocked it all down with the scraper the other day. Look at that. Somebody's going to need to get wiped down. Stay right there. Yeah, you're going to need a wipe down, buddy. This is all runoff here. So I know it's got to taste good, but boy, I'll bet you that's chili. Come on, left. 
He is just pulling me any direction but the truck. We've been walking for an hour. Lefty, that echoes like... <laughs> you hear that? What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that... <laughs> He's looking to see... <laughs> Who is it? Who's that barking? Huh? Who is that barking? You can hear yourself bouncing off the mountains, right? All right. Well, I'm going to try to figure out how to get all of this cleaned off. I don't know if you can pick it up. This is our... Hey. Okay. 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 We, um... What the heck? What the heck? Ah, you can't get me. <laughs> Do not bite my jacket. Hold on. This, this way. Come here. Come here. Hey. He gets all wacky in the snow. I must remind him of New York. Round here. Hey. Lefty. Round here. There you go. Come on. Okay. Hey. 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 Stop being so wacky, doodle. Hey, let me talk to people about something here. Hold on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, my Lord. Hey! Stop with the muddy footprints. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come here. So, yesterday was the anniversary. I call it Lefty's birthday because it was the day that I found him at the shelter in New York and brought him home with me. So, yeah, March 29th. Yeah, that's all wet. You don't want to lay on that, buddy. I just put that out and these in the sun uh, to dry them up. But March 29th is the official anniversary of the day that, that I um, found him at the Verona Street Animal Shelter in New York. So that was 2014. So eight years ago yesterday, I got him. And they estimated, they had him listed as a one-year-old because um, they, they did it bracketed like six months, one year, one and a half years, two years. So I think he was like nine months, So, but close enough to a year old. So right now, that means yesterday he's nine years old. So he's getting up there. And he's, uh, you know, he's changed a little over time, but he's still got all the same Cracker Jack energy and such. Uh, he's developed some idiosyncrasies over the years, as you guys know. <laughs> but all in all, it's been an awesome eight years. I wouldn't trade it for the world. So yesterday was all the snow all day and today we had sun and 55 degrees and everything has just about melted you know just this little bit is left the road is dried up I think we're gonna wait one more day before we go into town it's because I don't need to go and I'd like it to be a little bit firmer right in front of the truck we would get out, but we'd get very dirty and muddy and sink down a little bit. So just we'll wait through tomorrow and then the day after tomorrow we'll go into town. Hi everyone. We have the, let's see, this is April of 2022 Fleet Finds. I gotta tell you, the last uh, the last bit of time that we were down in Quartzsite, we weren't finding anything. The beginning of the season down there, every day we were picking stuff up. I got a theory. <laughs> Don't put much credence in this. My theory is that people are double checking their areas before they're taken off. Excuse me. Somebody was firing a gun, so he jumped up inside and I put on a video for him to listen to, but it's stopped now, so you want to come up? Come on. All right, let's go over what we found. 
So here in uh, this area, the Williams area, we have found a lot of stuff that I'm, I'm kind of equating to all the logging that took place. We, we found several things kind of in the same area and they're all like tool related. So I'm thinking that the, the logging crews may have accidentally left some stuff behind. So let's, let's uh, start right off here. Now this, um, obviously a little hand spade, we found this way, way off the beaten path. I am really surprised. And I, I this, this maybe must have fallen out of somebody's uh, backpack or something because uh, we were way, way off trail. Um, no handle. I don't know that I can really do anything with this. So it's probably just going to go over um, to the metal recycle when we go over to the transfer station. You know, it's a, it's a inexpensive, small little spade. Now, this. <laughs> Tell me my eyes didn't light up when I saw this gleaming at me from down in the dirt. You know, tools. I'm a guy, love tools. Finding tools, especially operational ones, you know, really makes my day. This is broken. So this was a this was a ratchet and it's all it's gone. So the handle is just what was left. So you know, I've been racking my brain, what can I do with this? I mean, I wish it just had a square um, notch. See, I couldn't even, I don't think there's really anything I can do with it. And it, you know, it's, this isn't an expensive tool. It doesn't have any stampings on it, no name at all. So this is a, you know, a lower end tool. Um, so this is probably also gonna go over to the, to the metal recycle when I go um, to the dump. Really a shame. I was so excited when I found that. Talk about excited. A borehole. This is a Diablo two and a quarter inch bimetal bore. But look, it got run over. And from the looks of this, this has never been used. These teeth are all still fully painted. None of them show any signs of ever being used. I'm going to try to flatten this. I shouldn't say flatten. I'm going to try to put this back into a circle. I doubt I'm going to be able to do it. You know, I have others of these um, that the center drill would fit right into here. So I could use this. I'm uh, very frustrated that it was smashed. When I pulled this out, this is brand new. You know, this, this fell out of somebody's toolbox, never been used. And I'm always boring holes through my truck walls for one thing or another, and I don't have one this size, so I would love to be able to use this, but if it doesn't work, it's going to the metal recycler. Now I find another tool, and I, I must have thrown it out already. It was a utility blade, you know, that you, um, what do you call it, like a box cutter type, but the really good Stanley ones, the silver, uh, aluminum colored ones with the yellow slide on it and it was all complete but it had been run over and twisted like that like uh really badly deformed and i i cleaned it out and it was so badly deformed the mechanism was all bunged up so i i guess i chucked it i was going to hold on to it for the video but i must have chucked it out because it's not here anymore now this here i'm going to ask for y'all to help me identify what this is is this some kind of trap, animal trap kind of thing? You know, it could just be just a regular camp gear kind of thing, but um, when I saw this, and then there was another one that had actually, this one's been all destroyed, like the ends have been pulled off. Um, but I, when I saw this, it made me say like, oh my gosh, I hope there's not guys putting traps out around here because you know, we do a lot of walking and I don't want to get hung up. Now that has the remnants of a piece of plastic on there. I hope it's focusing for you. So this could be just some, you know, I don't know, camp gear, but just the look of it. <laughs> First thing I thought of was it looks like an animal trap. You know, these two end loops are a different size. This, this end loop is like twice as long as this one. So it's purpose built. But for what purpose, I don't know. 
So this is definitely just gonna go in the garbage uh, to the recycler, both of these here, both of these pieces. And I hope there's not traps around here. And the last thing we got, I think I know what this is. Is this not part of like a, uh, it looks like it's part of a chain link fence gate, right? It's got the pin here. But what I also thought it might be is off of an RV, um, like it holds maybe an antenna mast or something like that, uh, possible. Um, this was laying off on the side of the road. It doesn't look like there's ever been a bolt in it, to be honest with you. You know, the coating is all still present. I don't see any witness marks from, from a bolt. You know, the pan head with the square on there, I don't see any marks from it. So this I'm this is definitely just going to the recycler when we go. So we got a lot of stuff to basically dump, but I guess better we picked it up than it's still laying out here in the dirt. So all of this, unless I can fix that, but I doubt it, all of this is gonna go to the recycler. We'll always pick this kind of stuff up and at least at least dispose of it correctly. A quick addendum to the fleet finds. Yesterday we were out walking and I saw these footprints in the ground and couldn't really identify what they were and now I figured out what was making them. But uh super diny. See those see those kickers right there? I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy, but he'd look great on the dashboard maybe. I don't know. So that's my last fleet find for this session. Oh wait, there's another thing we just found. Dog toy with a broken squeaker, unfortunately. Used to squeak, I bet. We find a lot of dog toys. I actually found a tennis ball this morning, but I left it up where it was for the next camp to make use of. So that's it for Fleet Finds for April 2022. Thanks everybody for watching. If you've got something to share that you found, put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Just came on this hillside, this rock outcrop here, and there's a whole slew of these cactus groupings, which is really neat to see up here. There's not... There's not uh, as many cactus in this area because of the elevation, but as I look along this cropping, I can see more and more clumps of them. I think this hill here gets sun like all the time because we don't see these around here. This is interesting to find them and a whole bunch of them right along this rock outcrop. Does that feel better? Oh, beautiful morning. It's supposed to be about 60 degrees today. We're going into town. I've got a haircut appointment at a barber shop. And I'm going to take a shower first <laughs> before I go to get a haircut. Going to get a shower and a shave, um, then go to the barber. We're going to stop and get some groceries, and we're going to fill up the one water tank, our sink tank. I haven't yet set up our shower tent because I know we're going to move from the spot we're in. And I just... Whoa! He's always roostering me. Gosh. I know we're going to be moving, so I just don't want to take all the time to set it up. He's on the lookout for good grass, and it's just starting to grow. Here's some. Right here, left. Here's some grass. No, he only likes certain kinds. He's very picky, but it's just starting to starting to grow. Like this wasn't here a couple few days ago when we came up this way. So thanks everybody for being here and watching the fleet finds. I appreciate all you being here. Remember, if you need stickers or the Campulence Men patch down in the description, there's links for those. Thank you to everyone that has uh, purchased those, donations, all the gifts, everything. In times when I'm feeling stressed and worried about stuff, 
those kind of things really help to keep me motivated. And, and I try to send a message to everybody that, that gets a sticker or sends donation every, you know, to really say thank you because it really means a lot and helps us, you know, helps us keep going. It really does for both of us, both Lefty and I. Someone in the comments the other day said, you always use we when you're talking about stuff. He said, dogs don't count. And I, I do, I always say we, and I'm referring to Lefty and I. That's, not just, that's the way I've adopted talking, I guess. So when I say we, it's me and the dog. That's all I'm talking about. <laughs> So thanks again, everyone. Everybody take care, be safe. We'll see y'all again really soon. You doing okay? Huh? I gotta take care of him. He's got the shivers. Here we go. Okay. Let's go.